Hi everyone, welcome back to CB Drama. Prepare yourself for the most ambitious and extravagant Chinese production in history, Creation of the Gods, Kingdom of Stone, originally Chinese crafted by the talented ethnic Mongol director Wu Shan. This saga intertwines the realms of man, gods, gods, and demons, unfolding a tale that transcends time and space. The first part of this epic trilogy delves into the warning days of China's Shang Dynasty, setting the stage for the rise of mighty Zhou Kingdom. Kingdom of Storms had already captivated audience, receiving a commendable 7.7 out of 10 on Douban, a popular Chinese online database and social networking site. The firm's grand retelling about children warlike conflicts, featuring both humans and divine heroes, has snapped spectators in two. Originally planned for the release in 2020s, the pandemic's untimely arrival caused significant delays, further heightening anticipations for this monumental cinematic experience. At the heart of this epic lies Yin Shou, the prideful final ruler of the Shang Dynasty, who harbors a friend the ghost, manipulated by the millennial old nine-tailed fox. The enchanting spirits possessing Princess Su Da Ji, Yin Shou's reign is plagued by corruption and injustice, prompting divine retribution and upheaval that will echo throughout the trilogies. Standing in defiance of the Shang Dynasty oppressions is the venerable Zhang Ziya, an immortal hailing from the mystical Huanlun Mountains and disciple of the primeval Lord of Heaven himself. A Yin Shou descends further into tyrannies and decay. Jiang Ziya embarks on a tumultuous quest to find the righteous leader worthy of ending this oppression and liberating the people. Wu Shan's adaptation showcases the brilliance of veteran Chinese actors like Fei Xiang. Li Xuejian, Huang Bo, and Chen Huan, skillfully portraying the timeless characters to modern filmmaking techniques and technologies. But amidst these seasoned actors, one captivating newcomer shines bright, Naran, also known as Niu Da Ji, with a unique heritage that blends Russian and Mongolian roots. She has been making waves since signing with the Hong Kong modeling agency in 2015. Perhaps you recall her from Dejo's mesmerizing confession balloon music video, where her charm and charisma won her effervescence. Now her own time because Naran's firm debuts in nothing short of astounding. She takes on the significant roles of Su Da Ji, keeping her cast a well-guarded secret. The firm crew added an air of my stories and excitement surrounding her performance. But securing this role was no easy feat. Among 15,000 aspiring actors worldwide, Naran was chosen by Wu Shan and made it through a crowning interview process. With 1,400 hopefuls to transform into Su Da Ji, Naran committed to a rigorous six-month long acting boot camp, mastering everything from acting and lines to dance. Gu Jin and even martial arts. Her dedication paid off as she spent nearly two years perfecting a dance segment, lasting less than a minute in the final film. Adding an authentic touch, Naran's observe and intimates the movements of fox for segments. Yes, foxes like a true fox whisperer. She closely studies the cunning creatures daily, recording videos of herself mimicking their every move. Talk about dedication. While there's always room for different opinions, there's no denying Naran's beauty and talents. She's more than ready to breathe life into the enchanting Su Da Ji and leave an indelible mark on the silver screen. So brace yourself for creation of the gods, kingdom of storms, and Naran's portrayal of Su Da Ji is set to dazzle and captivate its owners. Get ready for an unforgettable cinematic experience where minds come alive and legends are born.